All right, guys, we are in the wardrobe room for Disney Channel's Shake It Up, and I'm here with the woman who does it all, Jessica Raplansky. Tell me about your day to day. It's like come to the wardrobe room and yeah, piece you know, out. how does it work? You start out with a script and you break it down and you figure out how many changes each character has and what kind of changes they need for the show. And then I start shopping and putting outfits together. And then we do fittings, of course, with the characters and that's how it works. Now, I must say, Shake It Up is a very colorful show. That's for sure. <laughs> yes. What goes into the process of just picking out all these clothes? In terms of the color, each character almost has their signature color. Uh, for example, Gunther and Tinka, they're very, very, probably the brightest of the characters. And they do a lot of leopard print, a lot of just loud pinks and oranges and patterns. And this is pink and leopard print. Yes. Right here. So when I'm shopping, I'm definitely very attracted to anything that just screams out at me at the store. Um, and that's probably how I start it. Mm -hmm. um, but most of the clothes that we get, we alter in some way to just heighten it for Shake It Up because um, all of these characters are very involved with their clothes on the show. And um, they don't, usually don't just buy off the rack. We try to imagine that everything that they buy, they usually alter in some way. And judge it up with studs or sparkles or paint. Um, these shoes have a very um, great story to them. When I saw them at Betsy Johnson, I fell in love. I was like, these are perfect Rocky shoes because not only are they combat boots, but they have the pop of uh, the bright pink, which she loves, and they have this cute ruffle on the back. So when I asked about them, I found out that they were one of a kind, straight off the runway. As you can see, um, a model Dana wore them in the runway show. Um, and it was the same size as Zendaya. So I was super excited and I felt like it was shoe fate to get these shoes. And Zendaya was also very excited. This is an example of a CC shoe that actually also has a platform. But um, we loved them, but we thought they needed a little extra something. So we added these studs and the rhinestones ourselves. Oh, wow. Um, is it hard to do that? Yeah, uh, yeah. It is. <laughs> Don't try this at home, guys. Time consuming, but you know, once you get the hang of it, it gets a little easier. But yeah, it's it's time consuming. Um, this is another CC shoe that is from the pilot, and these were hand up splattered. So these are cute, and they definitely make a statement. <laughs> wow. Um, and an easy way that um, we alter shoes for this show is just by simply changing the laces on them. This is an example of a Rocky boot that we just added, you know, a cute pink, um, pink, <laughs> uh, turquoise lace to and just made it more girly and uh, more rock rockified. Who would you say is most like their character style and who is like the biggest stretch from their character style? I would say that Bella is the most like her character, Cece. Um, she's, you know, a little girlier in real life, but they definitely have certain aspects that, um, you know, are, are very similar. So, um, and different, I would say, well, obviously Gunther and Tinka are, you know, way crazier on the show than they're the actors themselves, Caroline and Kenton. Um, but also Zendaya is, she's not girly in real life and her character is extremely girly. So she's also very different from her character. Caroline raved about Tinka's shoes. So I think it's time that you give me a tour. Here are her shoes. Oh. As you can see, she has a wide range. Um, platforms are very, very important to her. Um, and color and sparkles and leopard print are also very prevalent in her shoe collection. A lot of her shoes also come from little boutiques downtown um, and a lot of Japanese and Korean shops as well. They go a little crazier with their shoes than Americans do sometimes. Literally every shoe has a little bit of a heel height. Yeah, it, right? yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, these are also, um, these don't have a heel and these are actually very, um, Tinka wears these a lot when she's dancing or when she has to do a scene where she can't really wear a heel. But for the most part, she likes to wear a heel. I have had a blast checking out the Shake It Up closet. Jessica, thanks so much for showing me. Of course, anytime.